I'm Katie, and this is Katie Plays Stuff, where I play stuff for you. And today, we're getting to the next part of Conway Disappearance at Dolly of You. You guys, today is the day. Today is finally the day that we get to see what old Mrs. Dower is up to. And I am so excited. We get to see what's going on in that creepy mansion of hers. We get to see what weird secret she's keeping. We don't know if she has Charlotte May. We don't know if she keeps creepy dolls in her house. We don't know if she had a husband that she secretly killed and keeps his corpse in the bedroom. We don't know. But today's the day. <laughs> and uh, I'm just really excited. So let's just hop right back in to this crazy ass game and find out what she's up to. All right, you guys, let's spy on old Mrs. Doer. Okay, so we are way closer to her house this time, so we better find something juicy. Oh, what is that? Painting of a man and wife? I could barely see her, but uh, no reason to take a picture of it, I suppose. She lives in this big ass mansion looking thing. And I don't know if it's like an apartment buildings in there like like the other place or what was that? There's a light on downstairs. Mrs. Doa is still awake. And here I am spying on an elderly lady. Oh nope. She's got a lamp and everything. Her phone's ringing. Who's calling at this hour? Oh. So this is the police's base of operations. By the sounds of it, they've forgotten all about Charlotte May. The crow's nest. What is that? What do you got, Mrs. Doer? What are you doing on the floor? She hides stuff in her floor? Now this is interesting. It's child's toys. What is she doing under there? It looks like she's hiding something. But what is it? Well, that floorboard is my first port of call. Whose teddy bear is that, Mrs. Doer? And why is it so important to hide it? Hmm. With your cankles. Your old lady ass cankles. Yeah, hobble away. I'll see what you're up to. Don't you worry. Alrighty. Uh, do you guys hear a cat? What is this? A ball. There's that ball. Again. Do you? Is there a cat screaming from inside the house? Mrs. Doer's bedroom. That big house, all to herself, and she only <gasps> lives in one room. How age punishes us. What is she doing in the basement? What could she be doing in the basement? And how did she get down there? Stairs, Conway. By the minute. We don't all have elevators, we got stairs. Yeah, what is she doing in the basement down there? But I also, I want to look around and see if there's like something around. Nah, it, it won't let me. It won't let me go any further. Then like turning around and then it kind of glitches out a little bit. That shoe is still on the roof. God knows why. No, oh, she's gone. Where are the police lights coming from? This car isn't on. I wonder if 
Levy will even notice his key is missing. Yeah, he might. I mean, we did say that we saw it sitting there, so I'm sure he's going to check to see if we took it. I'd give anything to know what's in that box. I mean, Maybe we'll it has out. something to do with what was hidden under the floorboard. Oh, that's my second port of call. Alright, we will check out what's inside that box upstairs. Uh, now she seems to be doing something. She's a busy lady. <gasps> Dear God, that, that's not her at all. Mrs. Dower is in danger. Unless they're working together. Unless that is Mrs. I Dower. I need to get a photograph of the intruder. I mean, why didn't... It didn't tell me to take one just now. Oh my god. What if we see an old lady murder? What do I do? <gasps> Coming through the front door? Dear God, I've got you red-handed. You there! Stop what you're doing at once! Oh my God. I said stop! You won't get away with this. Uh... Who was that? And it couldn't have been Mrs. Doer, right? Because Mrs. Doer can't run that fast. Who could it be? They're obviously working together. Possibly. I don't know. But you gotta think. Remember in the beginning of the game, the person that stole the baby was wearing a black cloak, just like that. I don't know, guys. A little sketch. Anything special sitting here? No. So why let me click on it? Waste of time. Thank you very much. Call my daughter. Phone the police. The inner workings of the criminal mind. It's not even letting me click on anything. It's like, go straight to the door. Do not pass go. Do not go to jail. What are, what are the words in Monopoly? I don't remember. Do go straight to jail. Do not pass go. I don't fucking know. What am I even trying to say? Whomever I saw leave Mrs. Doe's home left in a hurry. Let's hope they don't return. Now, to break in without being caught. How are we going to do that? Especially with these police cars sitting right here. Oh my goodness. I hope to God Mrs. Doe has come to bed. I mean, we just saw her awake like three minutes ago, so... I don't know. Can I roll onto the grass? No, I can't. I was gonna check out the uh, basement area. Smash glass. I'd better be careful. Tension wrench. So I'm confused. The person walked out the front door and then went to... What? Lock the door? Or un... I don't know what they were actually trying to do here. I hate these, as you guys know. Hate them, hate them, hate them. Oh! oh be useful. That was quick! Alrighty. This Hello. is gonna be fun. Mrs. Doa. I do not get caught, Robert. This lady got a full mansion. I observed a few suspicious things from my window. I need to investigate them further. What is under the floorboards? And find the box the intruder was using near the upstairs window. Okay. Um, 
One last thing about Harold Levy says Catherine thinks Harold was hiding something from the police in the basement. So, Lady Doer. Mrs. Doer looks old and frail. Getting around her home must be a struggle. Lady Doer lives in one room on her ground floor. Her home is mostly abandoned. Alrighty. Let's, I guess we'll go straight into this room with the box. The, uh, the floorboard area. There we go. Uh, won't budge. All right. Mrs. Doe used something to pry it up. So I need something I to pry it up. Had. There must be something down here I can use. What have we got in the fire? It looks too hot to touch. Hot fire poker can't touch that. And it says I need something from my inventory for this too. So we need something to get the fire poker out. I hope none of my neighbors are watching me right now. What would they say? I don't know. Maybe Conway's over there getting it with Mrs. Doer? How about finally he needed some action? I don't know. Hmm. Old photo frames. Old photo frames. And nothing I can open, so this was worthless. Oops. This way. What else we got? How much you want to bet this lady has an elevator and that's how we get upstairs? How much you want to bet? Well, what makes my small flat look like a prison cell? I'm gonna have to scour every freaking wall just to see if there's something I can click on. It's going to be a lot of wheeling around. Should I have called the police? No. Yeah, I said that the earlier. The will be long gone by now. It's up to me. We got a note. Doesn't say read, so let's see. Well, dust the chandeliers, skirting boards, model boats, ask Lord Doer first. So it's He's alive? I didn't know. Uh, bus, statues, cabinet tops, start high to low, please, or you'll be made to start again. Polish the door handles, display, cabinet glass, gas lamps, telescope collection in the hall, mop the ground floor, open windows for 30 minutes. Okay. Obviously, none of that was important. Notepad. 2nd of May. I'm sorry, I don't know why it doesn't say I can read this, so I have to like zoom in awkwardly and I can't read the top line. 5th of May. Drunken man urinates against my front gate. 16th of May. Harold Levy has another fight on the phone for all to hear. 28th of May. Heard a noise in my house. Door banging upstairs, but stopped shortly after. Police refused to come out. She heard something in her house. 7th of June, drunken man kissing a woman outside my home. Shirley said she'd have a word. 10th, people leave through the front gate. Someone didn't look at it. Uh, 22nd of June, Shirley runs out of the house all in a... I can't read it! That's really annoying. And he's not saying anything about this. And he didn't take a picture of either of those notes. And I don't know if my game is glitched out. Or if they really weren't that important, so. We'll just keep moving. Oh my gosh, that's how we're getting up the stairs. On that chair. <laughs> Take the base. Stair water. Okay, I guess we're gonna use that water. Interesting. Did, uh, we, uh, kill Mrs. Doer with a candlestick in the hall? Or, uh, Sh or Charlotte May, really? What is- ooh. The basement. Damn this wheelchair. Basement. Can't even get down there. 
Well, let's go to the fireplace quickly. Ugh. And what are you looking at? Gross. Let's have a click there. All right, let's go back to the fireplace and douse it with water. Let's hope that worked. Alrighty. Now let's see what's in this floorboard, which we already saw what's in the floorboard because we watched through the window. Now, if I can find the sweet spot. Uh, okay. Oh! Alright. Mirror? It's too dull to reflect. Hmm. Just as well. I haven't slept in days. This bone inlay is very ornate. Is it? Old, too. Okay, we got an old mirror. Smells old and dusty. It hasn't been used recently. Now, why would she hide you? It's a mystery to me. Rattle. Detail is outstanding. But why would she hide you? Scroll? And what's this? A family tree. What on earth are you doing in my house, Mr. Conway? Uh, uh Mrs. Doer. It's Lady Doer to you. We live in polite society, last I checked. Lady Doer, uh, let me explain. It had better be a bloody good explanation. <sighs> Go on. There was an intruder in your house. I'll say. Uh, I believed they were here for Charlotte May. I believed you were in danger, so I came over to help. I was not oh, expecting that. Where is this so-called intruder now, Mr. Conway? I trust you tried to apprehend him. Sadly, no. So it's just you and your word, then. Your daughter's a police officer, Mr. Conway. <laughs> you should have called her. I believed your danger to be too... immediate, my lady. I was concerned for your safety. You can cut that nonsense out right away. If you were concerned about me, then you would have knocked on my door or checked on me. True. Instead, I come out to find you at this ungodly hour prying up my floorboards. This is clearly a matter for the police. And how, may I ask, did you know to look under there? Look, I can see you don't suffer fools, my lady, so I'll just come out with No need, Mr. Conway. You've been spying on all of us from your window. Not very subtle, if I do say so. Uh, very uh, astute. But please, if I may, I merely came over to ask you a few questions. I suppose you want to know why I stored my belongings under the floor. I want to know why they're all children's belongings. <laughs> Charlotte May. I'm not given to the kidnapping of young girls. Well, why don't you just tell me what you were doing, then? <sighs> Very well. For the past few months, things have been going missing from my home. Bits and bobs, really, but as you can see, the simplest of things in this house would fetch a pretty penny. Last week, it was one of my porcelain dolls. I'm of the suspicion that my maid is stealing from me. So I hid my most cherished positions under my floorboards. I've had that silver mirror you just found since I was a small child. It's worth more than daily of you itself. Regrettably, my late husband and I... Well... We don't have a child of our own to lead these things to. I see now that I should have hidden them better. Hmm. Maid stealing for money, don't have a child, which could insinuate that she took Charlotte May. 
All children's things. Made stealing for money. I don't want to push and say that she stole Charlotte May. Let me ask more about this. Fetch a pretty penny. Do you think your maid is stealing purely for the money? I couldn't tell you. But it wouldn't be a first, would it? I'm trying to decide whether money is a strong enough motive to abduct a child. Seems to be a theme going around here. I thought I knew her. <laughs> if you'd asked me a few weeks ago, I would have said there was no way. But now... Who is your maid, if you don't mind me asking? Well, I say maid. She is a glorified cleaner. Shirley Downs. Shirley? Hmm. Your neighbour? Yes. She owns the pub next door. She needed a little extra cash, and I needed my house to stop falling apart. I see. Seemed like a good idea at the time. Has she cleaned her long? A handful of months. The upstairs, mainly. I have no interest in going up there these days. Too many memories, and I can only walk so far before my feet give in. Do you think Shirley would break into your home? The intruder I saw. Could it be her, or someone you know? You say you saw the intruder break in? Uh, well, out. They were picking the door, trying to lock it. Picking it? What does that mean? Oh, they had a... Trust me, they were up to no good with it. I gave Shirley a key. I'm certain she has no need to do such a thing. Hmm. Lady Doa, would you allow me to search the upstairs of your property? I believe I may be able to shed some light on the situation, if you'd permit me. We should call the police, surely? Well, they haven't found Charlotte May yet, and they don't seem to be doing much about it. How about we postpone calling them for just a short while? I do say, how Machiavellian, Mr. Conway. You ask me to lie to the police. To your daughter, no less. Not at all. Just to postpone calling. In the pursuit of knowledge. Hmm. The stair lift. I believe it still works. There should be another wheelchair up there somewhere. Hmm. My late husband's. This is interesting. I was not expecting this at all. The fact that she is helping us search her house is so weird, but I like it. Took a key. Thank you. It's like we found the female version of ourselves. She, she's been watching us, too. Oh, right there. We're doing this thing. I wonder who was in the house, though. Oh. I haven't been up there for a year or two now. You will share what you find? It would be my pleasure. I mean, she is allowing us to go upstairs and not calling the police. I think I could tell her what I find. So she has not been up here in two years. So whoever was intruding in the house was up here, though, because we saw them up in the window. <sighs> so what could they have been doing? Oh, and Mr. Conway, there's no electricity. You might want to use the lanterns. Spooky. Now, to find out what our intruder was up to. Dusty ass the wheelchair. <laughs> Hasn't been used in years. Lovely. <laughs> Alright, let's go check it out. Oh, 
these look like maritime telescopes. Older than me. Interesting. Hmm. What's in the middle of the room? What is this about? I do not know what's happening here. Oh! Well, it looks like I need some kind of lever to turn this. A lever, huh? Okay, well, I'm gonna have to find a lever then. Um, ooh, my game's lagging a little bit. Let's go over here into this room, because this room had the painting in it, right? Now, why is this open? I saw the intruder leave. Let's hope it stays that way. Maybe it's haunted. Yeah. What do we have here? Another stamp that will prove useless. I think the stamps in this game are collectibles, so I've only found one other one other than this one, so we might have missed all the others. There's probably one in each house, I'm guessing. We have a child's toy. Thought he said another child's toy. Or she said we couldn't have any children. Why does she have all these children's toys? Are you out there somewhere? Or are you in here? I will catch you. I don't think I've seen Lady Dower smoke before. Must be Shirley's. Must be. Hmm. What is this room? Oh, this is the room with the painting. Lord Dower's office. What was there to click on right here? Ah, telescope. Oh, what's this? Right. The time is... 10.50 on the 22nd. Let's have another look. Shirley's watching. Watching Charlotte May's house, or possibly uh, Harold Levy's house, or possibly her sister's house, or my house? <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna shut up now. So, what could she have been looking at? The telescope is pointed right at Mr. Morgan's house. Hmm. Was she spying on Charlotte May? The 22nd was the night that Charlotte May was taken. Let's hear what she has to say. I wonder if it has anything to do with Seddon and Sons. Hmm. Could be the year. Seddon and Sons. I've seen that name. She said it could be the year, whatever that means. I'd better try to find it. Oh, it's something I have to look through the telescope. Uh, I I don't know what that is. Jackson Metalworks. Set it in, sons. Ah, there you are. Now what was Shirley doing with you? Now. By the sounds of it, she was trying to open something in this room. Lady Doa was right. Shirley's stealing from her. I mean, we don't know. 
Now, where was I? Why aren't she talking to herself? Why is she recording oh, herself? For God's sake, Larry. Larry? I sent you home an hour ago. <sighs> Not your shoe. Not your shoe? Idiot. What on earth was this Larry up to? Sounds like he was a drunken fool. Let's take a look at... Um... What the hell? <sighs> what? What did she see? What did she see? Annabelle kissing Short Harold Levy? Levy? Well, this is moments before the attack. Oh, I guess that's more important. <laughs> the fact that it was moments before the attack. Uh, okay, so it says to leave this... I do not like how that tape ended. Leave this area. Well, this was days ago. For now, let's try to finish what she started and open something in this room. Alright. Shirley was using the telescope to find a code to steal something in Lord Doer's office. She was using the telescope to find a code? I observed a few suspicious things from my window. I need to investigate them further. So I figured out what's under the floorboards. Find the box. All right. Lady Doer accused Shirley of stealing valuables. She's either right or paranoid. Lady Doer didn't fall for my charm for a moment. She must have been watching me for days. Shirley was looking through the telescope in Lord Doer's office. She left abruptly after seeing something to do with one of her neighbors. Was it Charlotte May? I don't know. I don't know, but she was looking for a code. Now, so, what was she looking at that she needed for this room? She needed for this room. Yeah, 1832, that's probably it, because she said set it in sons or whatever. So, let's try, let's try 1832 for whatever code we need. Um, now I just gotta find what she's talking about. Lord Doa must have been a war hero. Alright, we're gonna take this lantern and light it. Let there be light. Let there be light. Um, and we're not gonna carry it with us. I guess we're just gonna light him around the house. Oh, oh, this has some weight to it. Why would I need that? It's random. Hmm. There was something sitting here. Well, there was. I don't know why I would- but I should probably find whatever goes there, I'm guessing. If I had something flat to slide down this drawer. Flat? Something flat. Nothing sitting here. Oh, this painting's all fucked up. Why on earth would they want to tear this painting? There was... Looks like there was a child here. Maybe their kid died, that's why. I don't know. It, it says... I need to put something for my inventory, so I'm guessing this part of the picture is somewhere in the house. This way... Envelope. To Shirley? Why would there be a note to Shirley sitting up here? Shirley's been gathering valuables. Perhaps Lady Doa was right. Miss Downs, I've appraised the items you brought in last Thursday. It's quite a collection. Some brief notes on each item follow. The lacquered wood cigarette case with the inset sapphire stone and silver trim looks genuine. Interesting lid engraving with the maker's initials. Looks like a good piece. The Madagascan gold brooch with pearl inlay and abalone rim is quite a rare find, definitely of interest. 
I'm uncertain about the silver hairbrush with floral patterning. Some of the detailing leads me to believe it might be a replica. The silver candlestick holder with ruby inlay looks to me like a genuine Edwardian piece. This is proof that she's stealing shit! What in the world? It uh, could have been this. Could have been. Shirley was trying to steal something from inside it. Let's try 1832, or I don't know how it could be that easy. No, it's not 1832. Damn it. There's that box. Oh. Oh, this was the candlestick that goes above the fireplace, possibly? Because why else would we pick it up? I don't know. Letter. Oops, not that button. Reginald, old chap. Can you believe it's been 40 years since the we built... <laughs> Reginald, old chap. Can you believe it's been 40 years since we built your first ship, Jewel? Now look at you. You're a man of money and means. I'm writing to let you know that I'm retiring at the end of the month, and thought you should hear from the old man directly. My son Peter will be carrying on the business, so nothing will change for your shipping needs. I have to thank you. I wouldn't be able to retire so soon if it wasn't for all the business you've given me. As a thank you, please accept this bottle of Pete Hill. They don't make these anymore. It should go some ways as to show how grateful I am. Your friend James. Jackson's Metalworks. Okay. Locked. Of course it is. Of course it is. Alrighty. What else? I need to get into that box and find out what the intruder was looking at. And Lord Reginald Dower was a boat builder for 40 years. His first boat must have been his pride and joy. Okay, so maybe that's the code. I have to find something connected to the boat. Right? It's over here. The Dower Crest. Very fancy. Dower Crest. No. Wait, why am I trying to light candlesticks that don't have any fucking candles in it? Tell me that. Tell me why. What's wrong with me? Alright. Ooh, there's a lock on this door. Interesting. Search the upstairs and find a way to open both locks. I shall try. But let's skedaddle on out of here. Although, he did say she was looking through a, for a code Surely through the telescope. For a code. Yeah, so it's it's got to be out here, obviously. There's 1910 here. Set it in suns. We tried 1832. What about this one? Jackson's Metalworks, 1854. That could be it, because um, cause we heard... We heard, uh, that, or we read that in the letter. 18, 1854. There we go. Good. Whiskey. And a key. Nice. Excellent. Thank you very much, Shirley Downs. Pete Hill Reserve. Heat Hill Reserve. Well, at least Lord Doer had good taste. At least. Alrighty. Let's see. I'm guessing the key does not fit this lock. Probably opens the door. Yeah. Alright. There we go. What is that? Now what on earth? Charlotte May. Charlotte, are you in there? Why would... How do I lift this? Why would Mrs. Dower <laughs> let us up here if she knew Charlotte May was up here? Unless... Why would Shirley hide Charlotte up here? 
A lot of random unanswered questions. You think Conway's smart and then he pulls shit like that. Like, surely me. Are you inside this box floating in the middle of the room? This is a really weird angle. <laughs> Alright, I'm guessing the first thing and foremost to do is to open this. There's no way I can untie this by hand. Oh. Well. Burn it? Burn it! Okay. This thing? No. Okay. It's a weird angle too. Why is it showing me this? What's that? Did Lord Doa model all of these himself? Hmm. Marshall. What is this room? This makes things quicker. Okay, this is back out here. How am I gonna find something to untie that? Because he said he can't untie it with his hands? What am I gonna find? Um, what was over here? I can't even remember now. Nothing over here, right? And then I looked in here. And it was just this balcony. So, I've looked everywhere. What is going to untie that thing? And this needed some sort of... I don't know... Latch? Needs something for down here. And it's not that. Hmm. Okay, what about this? This is open... stick. I like that. Okay. There's no reason for me to take this. Can't click it. Am I just supposed to turn all the lights on? I, I don't know. What about this bust? Nothing. Don't know. I'm a little stumped at what to do next. It's gotta be something I'm missing that's like right in front of me. Here's another light. Let me just light this. Okay. There's these stairs here that obviously I cannot go up. Can I click on this box and like open up the curtain? No. What is this? Ah, okay. Lord Deva was a hobbyist. Model buoy. It's heavier than it looks. All right. And a knife. Oh, might help me force that lock open. Glue. Lord Doa was a hobby man. Taking the glue. Okay. Nothing useful in there. Hmm. A rag. Not chloroform, thankfully. Good. Paint. Alright, nothing else to click on here. So. 
what do I do with what I have? So I, I have a knife and he said use to force something open. So did he mean this box here? No, because this has a full lock on it. No. So definitely not that. Glue. This thing. This thing. Hmm. Find a way to open both locks. So what do you say? Force what open? I can't remember. Ah, maybe this thing over here. We can force this drawer open. So hard. What do we got? Letter. It looks like it was when Lord Doer was still alive. Mrs. Doer, I regret to inform you that I find myself unable to sign the document you sent me. From a personal level, I wish you and your husband nothing but goodwill, but professionally I have to decline. I have already contacted Spencer Holm and told them that I find you too emotionally unstable. Sadly, this means you fail to meet their string stringent requirements. Perhaps we can meet and discuss it further once I return from my trip to America. Sincerest apologies. I regret to inform you that I find myself unable to sign the document you sent me. You're too emotionally unstable. Sadly, this means you fail to meet their requirements. Maybe she was trying to get another kid? Like adopt a child? Because they lost theirs? I don't know. Hairpin. Pretty. Okay, what am I gonna do with this hairpin? Could it go into this thing? Okay. Let's say Q. Q. There we go. One down, one to go. I lost the hairpin. Are you kidding me? I gotta find something else? That's stupid. Hmm. Alright, and this he said he needs something. Glue? No, why would it be glue? Knife. Damn. It's far too blunt to cut anything. Too blunt. This thing? No. Uh, I've already tried everything else, and I tried burning it, but he won't do that. Hmm. And he's looking up here, like... There's something I'm supposed to do. I don't know. Keep searching upstairs and find a way to open the last lock. I mean, I'm trying, but I don't know, you guys. <laughs> I am stumped. Is there anything to click on on this boat? Nothing on the boat. What the hell is this? Oh my god, I'm an idiot.
Why does this room have a cutscene? I'm scared. Nothing to click on. Lord Doa. I never met the man. Hello, Mr. Doa. Just lets you zoom in for some reason. Special I can see. <gasps> oh my god, that scared me! Freaking statue. Another boat. The SS ceramic. If that's the size of the model, I dread to think how big the real thing was. Hmm. Why can we open this? Random. Clearly used with knots in some way. So, this is telling me how to untie a knot? Keep searching. I found a marlin spike which seems to be used with knots. Oh, does that untie knots? Uh. Okay. Well, let's see if this helps. Slip knot. All these different knots. Interesting. These are anchor weights. All different by the looks of them. It's letting me take all of these weights for some reason. I don't know why. But I guess I'm gonna take them just in case I need them. Wait, what is this thing here? An old dumbwaiter. Dumbwaiter? I wonder if it still works. Can I send something down to Mrs. Dower? It won't let me put anything on it. Servant's quarters. Needs a key. Yeah, so, of course not the key we have. Hmm. Alright, well let's see what we can do with that lock out there. Just gotta maneuver my way all the way back. Alright, let's see if this pointy thing we have is gonna do something. I... I do not know what the hell I'm supposed to be doing. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing right now. The hell? I'm just clicking a million. I'm just clicking a ton of times.
I didn't like that. I didn't like that at all. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. Everything's fine. I tripped on something is all. Maybe you should come Not that I expected it all. That... Uh, just another moment, if you would. It's the house. Very well. <gasps> Look at this. This is interesting. Little dolls. Lord Doa. Well, that's where you go. Interesting. Lady Doa, you can go there. Lady Doa said they didn't have a child of their own. I think she died. That's the room with the banging door. This is creepy. This is weird. I don't... Ugh. Oh wait, there was a switch. Okay. Okay. Oh. Doa's hidden room. Genius. So there's a hidden room, as long as I can figure out what to do with the table. <gasps> it goes to the table! The missing wheel latch. Cool. Oh. That would be so creepy if we closed this and there was somebody standing right here or something. Oh, that would be, like, so scary. Um, there's nothing to click on in here. And... That's the office I've just come from. Very detailed. Okay, well, get me out of here, and let's go and use this little latch thingy. Let's see. Ah, here we go. Spooky. Uh, is that in here? No, this is the kids room, right? And the banging door, which leads to the balcony. Yes. So, where did that open up? In here? No, it opened up maybe in that side room that I was in. Whatever. However I got there. Over here. This. It's like a secret room. She's sitting on a gold mine. Money is clearly no motive here. More weights. One kilo fine gold. So this tells me what things weigh, but I'm guessing I'm gonna need to weigh something at some point. Toys, china tea set. All this hidden away in a box. Belongs in a museum. Looks like an adoption form. Adoption form. See, she, she was trying to get a kid. Document type. Child adoption form. Mary Quinton. Seven years, one month. Uh, parents, Jeffrey and Cecil, deceased. English, special needs, none. Approximately six months waiting time. New name, Mary Doer. New name. Oh, they wanted to name her Mary. Oh, because it was Mary Quinton. But the doctor never signed off on it. 
What the Cryptid. hell? Looks like I need an eight-digit code to open it. Ugh. I wonder what's hidden inside. I should probably go and talk to Lady Doa. Let me guess. It's probably one of the names of one of his boats. What, what was his name? It was, uh, SS... What the hell was it? SS... I just want to see if I can remember it off the top of my head. Something with a C, right? SS... I can't fucking remember. Alright, Mrs. Dower. I gotta, <laughs> gotta go lady, all the way back down. I found this. What is it? I can't see it up there. It appears to be a cryptex of some kind. Oh, yes. It's a silly old game I used to play with one of the maids. We would pass messages back and forth and have to figure out the code. It's been many years since I've seen that. I see. By any chance, do you still have the code for it? Couldn't tell you. Couldn't or won't? Mr. Conway. I think I've been very accommodating, all things considered. Well, can you give me a clue? I can do one better. I can give you the cipher. Uh, please, do. On one condition. Dare I ask? It's not all that bad. There's a picture in the main hall. My late husband. I haven't seen his face in some time. Would you take a picture of him for me? Oh, Lady Doa, as luck would have it, I've already taken that picture. You have? And without my permission? <laughs> I thought you wanted me to. Yes, yes. Very well. Here it is. We used an old code. You take the alphabet and write the first 13 letters under the next 13. Then replace the letter you have with the one underneath or above it. So, A would be an N, and D would be Q. That's right. Well, where do I find the code to translate? Mr. Conway, may I remind you that it's you up there and not I? I will say, though... The code was usually something to do with my late husband's model boats. Very well. I'll start looking around then. So... So, the code is something to do with Lord Doe's boats. I looked at the boats, and the boats don't fit the cipher. It was SS Ceramic, SS7, SS... S-E-V-E-N. It's just not enough. S-S-C-E-R-A-M-I. That's too long. I just... I haven't seen a word that that's... That is that length. What to do with the ships. Ship, ship, ships. This model here doesn't have a fucking name on it, does it? No. Marshall! Marshall! Hold on. Is that enough? Uh, where am I? M A R S H A L L. Hell yeah! Okay. Z. How do I move this thing? How do I. F inspect. Here we go. All right, we got. Where are you? Z N uh, E S is F. Where H is U? It's jam tight. Let's hope it's in the right place. Uh, what? It's jam tight. Why is it jam tight? Let's hope it's in the right place. What do you mean? It's jam tight. Let's hope it's in the right place. But it's not in the right place. So that means that whatever this is, is an E. So Marshall is not the code. <laughs> Damn it. 
Right place. So we need to look for a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight letter word that one, two, three, four, five, five letters in is an E. Eight letter word, fifth letter is E. Okay. Now, I just need more boat information. We got boat stuff over here. What do we got over here? None of that. Let's go in the boat room. This doesn't have a name. This one you can't read. Oh wait, let me try to read it from the other side. The name's probably- ah! HTV Jewel. One of Lord Dera's models. A man of talent. HTV Jewel. And wait. One, two, three, four, five is E. Ah, okay. Okay. So. H is U. It's jam tight. H. Let's hope it's in the right place. G. V is I. H to be J is W. E. J E. How the fuck do you spell Jewel? <laughs> J E W E L L? How the fuck do you spell Jewel? J E W E L. <laughs> okay. Um. J R. Got you. We did it. It's a Another key. key. It's for the servants' quarters. Okay, we are getting somewhere, people. I am a detective, if I do say so myself. What is in here? I don't know what that's about. Unless I just open this without realizing it. No, this is open. Fortune card. Lady Doa. Death's shadow. Well, that's encouraging. Innocent. Charlotte May. I'm no expert, but that does not look good. This is weird. Here she left in a hurry. Lord Dor was keen model maker as model boats and house no. It's... I thought it said there was something interesting. Oh, here. There's a room filled with expensive things. They had everything money could buy except for a child. Wait, what did it say? I didn't even read it. Marion! I don't have much time. Writing in this case, I don't get to see you again. I have to tell that. I have to tell you that something's off- Oh my god, I can't read. I have to tell you that something awful's happened. I was having my usual catch-up with Lady Doer whilst Lord Doer was out. We were having such a good time knitting and, and trying her knot collection. She's even managed to master the whole middle row. It was so lovely, and you know how long she's been practicing that. Anyway, after a while I asked her if I could do her tarot reading. She's never had one, so she was so excited. Things started to get a little awkward after I pulled the first card and saw... It doesn't... It just trails off. Sketchy. There's just another stamp. Could be easy. It's a shame to damage something so beautiful. Got another one of these things. Oh, could be useful. Belongings. Ooh, not that. Back it up. This room hasn't been opened in years. In years? Oops. 
Some creepy ass hallway. All slanty. It's like a secret passageway. All right, well, we're back here. Fine by me. Let's open up this box now and see what's inside, because that was one of our main objectives, was to get inside this box. Oh wait, I gotta click on the box. Ah, got it. Another key! Long last. Now, what do you unlock? I... And why would the intruder hide you? Let's see what Lady Doa has to say about you. Yeah, what would that unlock? This? Nah, I couldn't unlock that one. I don't know, let's just go straight and talk to her and find out. Hello? My lady, may I bother you again? Of course. I think I found out what the intruder was doing. About time. Go on, then. It's a key. Looks to be quite ornate. Go on. I was hoping you could tell me. Hmm. Describe it to me. Perhaps it'll jog my memory. Ah. Uh. It has a large anchor shape. Go on. It has a copper midsection. Ah, uh, I know what that is. The basement storage key. Again, I haven't seen that for many years. I have one too somewhere. I could look for it. The basement, you say? Yes. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, Mr. Conway? I just might be. Do you think it possible that Charlotte May could be in your basement without you knowing it? The very thought of it. I fear there's only one way to find out. You'll have to go to the basement. How the hell am I going to get the there? The lift won't work whilst the stair lift is activated. I'm going to have to go down this. Give the me a moment. Shoot thing. What if I have to hoist myself down the fucking thing? The whatever it's called. <sighs> now, you really are alone up there, Mister Conway. Can I just remind you that? Shh. What is it? Are you expecting anyone? <laughs> Another intruder, you mean? Lady Doa, I'm serious. Oh my. I'll go and call the police. <laughs> Shh. <gasps> Hell nah! Hell nah! Get me out of here! Get me out of here! Back it up! Go down the stairs! Oh my god, it's not even letting me. Oh! We're just gonna go straight in there? Without- without a weapon? They've locked the door. They locked the door! Oh my god. I know you're here. How did you get in here? Oh, I'm scared. Come out. You're not going to get away with this. I am terrified. Show yourself at, at once. What are- what is it? What? Show yourself in what? Kill me? You can't hide. Oh my god, this is a horror game. Uh, my daughter is a police officer. You're clearly out of your depth. Clearly, I'm out of my depth. Please, if you're here. <laughs> I'm scared. Oh my god. <gasps> Stop. What happened? Get up. Get up.
What the hell am I gonna do? I don't know what this is used for. What the hell do I do? <gasps> I opened it. I'm just gonna go down there? Oh my god! Oh, you guys, I've been recording for an hour and a half. And, uh, I don't know what's about to happen. This is gonna be a long one. It's already a long one. Are you not terrified? Conway. Charlotte May, are you there? Can we forget about Charlotte for a moment and know that we are in a basement with a scary intruder person? Like, let's let's think about ourselves, Conway, okay? Charlotte is fucking dead to me for all I care, okay? This is life or death. Charlotte, are you okay? What is this door? It's locked. I'm coming, Charlotte. Really? Mr. Conway, what on earth is going on? I don't know. Call the police. I need your help. The kidnapper is down here. What? That's it. I'm calling the police. Uh, wait, no. I, I need to get into the basement. They took my key. Mr. Conway, are you insane? Yeah. I'm calling the police, and that is the end of it. I'm so confused why he doesn't want them to call the police, or her to call the police. Makes no sense. I think Charlotte May is here right now. Do you have that other key? Uh, I do. Uh, toss it to me. Um, I don't know. Lady Doa, please. Fine. Oh, shit. Oh, come on. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, was, I was clicking it with the mouse. I didn't realize. Anyway. We'll go get it. Don't you worry. <laughs> okay. Wait, pick it. What is happening right now? Did my game freeze? Yeah, that was weird. Um, let me just quickly do this part again because my game like froze with the lighter out. It was very strange. No. Okay. Lady Doa, please. Let's see if we can actually catch this key. <laughs> Fine. Got you. <laughs> Got it. Um, all right. What the hell am I gonna do? Call the police! Oh! I, I said stop! God damn this bloody chair! Why are these quick time events right now when I barely know what fucking key I'm pressing on the keyboard? Charlotte, give me something. Was she actually Anything? down here? I was not expecting this at all. There's something here. There has to be. Oh, damn. There'll be no explaining this together. Who gives a shit? Lady Mrs. Doe are gonna fucking get arrested. They're gonna say that she was holding a girl hostage in her basement. I don't know what to think right now. After the attack against me in Lady Doe's home, I'm left questioning everything. Was it one of the McKees? Harold Levy? someone else. My presence is clearly getting to someone. 
Lady Doa was downstairs at the moment I was attacked. I can't rule her out. I need to be sure what her involvement was. Only a few questions remain unanswered. All right, well, let's try to finish up this episode, guys, and let's answer these questions. So, we got, uh... It is this. possible that Lady Doa and the intruder work together. Does anything here indicate that she could have helped the kidnapper? All right, does anything here indicate Lady Doa could have helped the kidnapper? Lady Doa clearly wouldn't have kidnapped Charlotte May for money. Why else would she want to steal a girl? Would Lair Why would Lady Doa want to kidnap a child? Lady Doa claimed she was hiding her valuable items from her maid, Shirley. Can I prove Shirley was stealing from her? Okay. Let's start with that one. Um, the, which, this is a cigarette case. Let's see, context. A cigarette case I found in the servants' quarters. can't even see... Ah, uh, 999. What is this? This is... The... That has to do with children. This... I have to tell you that something awful's happened. For not collection. Let's see. Local crimes. Riverport Antiques Silver Specialist. I will sell your antiques. Okay. This has got to be one of them. Ah, Silverbrook's robbery suspect released without charge. I'm gonna say transfer that one. And it's gonna be this. Wait, what was what was it? Can I prove Shirley was stealing? This person will Robbery Suspect released without charge. Frank Morton was released from custody. This will say that you could sell your stuff to this person. What's this one? I've appraised the items you brought in last Thursday. The lacquered wood cigarette case. Something gold brooch. Silver hairbrush with floral patterning. Silver candlestick. Okay, let's do you. I'm going to say I've appraised the items you brought in last Thursday. And now I just need to find something to do. Something else to do. I guess maybe the cigarette case? Hmm. But this was in the servants' quarters. So that doesn't have to do with stealing. I don't know. I guess the cigarette case. I... I need to look at every I... single detail there is. Damn it. <sighs> Lacquered wood cigarette case. I should read every detail on the evidence. This isn't wood. I need to make sure I'm looking at all of the evidence. There must be a detail I'm missing on some of the evidence. I need to make sure I'm scouring all of the evidence. There must be some small detail here. Lady Doa claimed there must be some small <laughs> detail I'm missing on some of the evidence. Alright, maybe let's not work on this one right now. Let's skip to a different one, because obviously that one's too hard for me. <laughs> Why would Lady Dower kidnap a child? Let's work through the other evidence, and then maybe it'll leave us with something. Because I think these are right. I don't know. Okay, why would she kidnap a child? Let's do... This one. And... This doesn't say why she would kidnap a child. Child adoption. Let's do child adoption as one. Um, oh god. Where are we? Reginald, Margaret, ha! It's their baby. She died. Let's 
our child. And what was this? I don't know what on here is going to be it, but we'll just have to guess. I need to make sure I'm oh. scouring all of the evidence. Good. I thought there we as go. much. Uh, to continue. All right, we got that one done. Let me just put these up here and out of the way. Now, does anything here indicate Lady Dower could have helped the kidnapper? Now, this has to do with knots, this has to do with knots, and this is a knot right here. So it's got to be this stuff. Oh, damn it, I gotta find out which knot it is. I don't know what kind of knot that is. I don't know. And that one. I need to look no. at every single detail. <laughs> what kind of knot is. is it? Oh, God, it's so hard to tell. It's a loopy loop and a knot knot. <laughs> it's a loop, a loop. There must be some small detail here. But that's a knot knot too. Be a detail I'm missing. I'm some no, of the no no no. We're not missing any details. There must be this some is correct. Small detail here. I just gotta I figure to out which single detail there which is. knot it is. There right? must be some small detail. Maybe we read this note here. This ah okay. <laughs> I have to tell you something that awful's happened. Her knot collection. She's even managed to master the middle row. Okay. Um maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe it's not this at all. Or maybe it is. There must be some small detail. <sighs> Guys! Why is this so hard? Why am I just clicking the wrong fucking one? Okay. That's right. I'm onto something. I give up. Now to piece together the rest of it. We got it, but I give up. That was fucking annoying. Okay. We got these two. And now, what am I missing with this one? Can I prove Shirley was stealing? I got this. This. I think all of this is right. Except for this, but... Ah, uh, maybe not. Ah! Wait a second, not this. Um... Maybe this picture. Maybe this picture. Because there was something on the mantel place stolen. Ah, uh, none of that's... Maybe the candlestick? Because I feel like there was something on the mantel place next to this clock. And there was a spot on the mantel place where something was missing. So maybe this candlestick? I need to look at oh. any piece of evidence. That candlestick? I need to make sure uh. I'm looking. Oh, I'm I'm on the wrong fucking thing. I was supposed to be pinned on this one. There must be some small okay. detail I'm missing. So I was pinned the on the evidence. wrong thing. So Let's try this one. There we go. Okay, I was just on the wrong one. That so, was really frustrating. Lady Doa may have had motive after all. She lost a child and was clearly emotionally shaken by it. Though it seems like that was many years ago, and I found no evidence other than she knew how to tie knots. Not very conclusive, if I do say so. Shirley, on the other hand, was stealing from Lady Doa. She knew her way around the house and had access to many of the rooms. She also had a good view of Tony Morgan's house and was talking about Charlotte May on the dictaphone message. Shirley, are you my attacker? Did you take Charlotte May? It is a little suspicious. I don't know, but definitely suspicious. Mm. Who's calling? Robert Conway speaking. 
Dad. Uh, Catherine, uh, again, I- I'm sorry Do that you... Do you know how foolish you made me look tonight? Uh, why don't you come over? I had to explain to my superior that my father was found in the same house that we think Charlotte May was tied up in. That the reason why we have no good footprints is because my father's tyre marks are littered across an open crime scene. I'll be very surprised if I still have a job tomorrow morning. Uh, that wasn't my intention. No? You know full well why I had to. You can't just do whatever you want and think it won't affect other people. What if she'd press charges? Lady Doa gave me her permission. You could have ruined my case. It's not just your case. There are other ways to prove yourself. You can't be so blind as to think you can do it all on your own. The real test of one's character is learning when to ask for help. Jeez. And that's what you've been doing? Asking for my help? It seems as though you're hell-bent on being the one to find her. Well, the apple hasn't fallen far from the tree. No, it's still very much in the tree's shadow. What are we arguing about? We both care about Charlotte May. We both want to help Tony Morgan. It's my job to help Tony Morgan. What you've done is against the law. You, You said it yourself. There weren't any charges against me. You you don't get it, do you? Your actions might have gotten Charlotte May killed. What if it was you down there? Hmm? Would you want me to stop, to respect people's privacy, to follow the law? That's not fair. Well, it's all I had. The vision of a young girl who needed my help. And all I saw was your face. Someone needed to do what had to be done, no matter the cost. But there's always a cost. Isn't there, Dad? Hmm. I wish I could make Catherine understand my actions. Every time I try, I either embarrass her or myself. There's always a cost. Last night, my neighbors watched in merriment as Catherine had to rescue me from Lady Doa's basement. If the bruises on my body are anything to go by, then I'm clearly making an impression on someone in daily view. I've lost too much to stop now, but will Catherine ever forgive me? All right, I'm obviously going to try to cut this down lower than two hours, Um, so hopefully what you got to watch was a little bit shorter. Um, I'll try to cut out the... uh, less interesting parts of me rolling around the house. So this is crazy. It seems like Charlotte May was being held in Lady Dower's basement. How Lady Dower didn't know when she's been watching me, she's been watching the neighborhood, how does she not know that there was a child in her basement? Also, why does the intruder have a key into Lady Dower's home and is like somehow moving around down there and she doesn't even know about it? Are they related somehow? It is... I don't know. Lady Doer and this intruder have to be connected somehow. I don't know how. But maybe. Like, like what if their daughter never died? I, I know her daughter died, but say her daughter didn't die and her daughter grew up and now is kidnapping a child and like trying to give her the life that she never had. Or I don't know, fucking something stupid like that. Like, This Mary Quinton, the girl that they almost adopted, who they never got. Maybe she never got a family. Maybe she found Lady Doer and watched her from afar and wanted her as a parent and then grew up to... And and I don't know. Maybe it is Shirley. If you guys know the answer, do not tell me. If you've watched this game or played this game before, don't tell me. I think it, it would be interesting to give me your thoughts down below. 
in your opinions. But if you actually, for certain, know the answer already, do not tell me. <laughs> um, we are getting very close to the end of this game. I can feel it. So, I hope you guys are still enjoying this. I am. And I cannot wait for the next part. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.